All right, here we go, class. Um, this is a review for the test tomorrow, October 4th. And we did the first one. So just to review, it says find the equation that passes through the given point with the given m. So here is b. We're going to do b. And remember, the equation is basically y is equal to mx plus b. So if they give you the m, the slope, you're just going to insert it to where the m is and leave everything alone. And now all you got to do is find your b. The only way to find b is if you fill in the x and the y, and guess what? They give you the x and the y. So here we go. The x is, the y is negative 4 equals 7 times x, which is negative 2 plus b. Now I'll do a little bit of math, all right? Negative 4, the left side, is equal to 7 times negative 2, which is negative 4 plus b. How do you get rid of the negative 14? I mean, 7 times 2 is 14, negative 14. You add 14 to both sides. And my b is, well, negative 4 plus 10. I'm just going to do my little t-chart. Negative 4 and plus 10, I mean, plus 14. I have pos a lot of positives, but there's 10 more than the negative, so my answer is positive 10. So now to get the equation, just insert it to the original, which is y is equal to 7x plus what? 10. So that's the first answer. I hope everybody got it right. Yes or no? Yeah. So let's try the next one. Got it? C. Let's try C. Alright, I'm not going to say anything, just listen to music. Here we go. So far, so good? Good? Let me highlight it. There you go. Now. Got it? Then we go ahead and add 8. So that's B is equal to 11. So now where do we put the 11? Where B is, right here. Y is equal to negative 4X plus 11. So there's your answer. Pretty good, right? All right. Now the second part of the test is going to, and now we did number 1 is find the equation that passes through the given point. So I got two points, but I don't got the M. So I'm going to go ahead and just put X and Y. All right? So I want this. See, that's what I want. So I don't have the M, but I know from here I said Y is a change of Y over change of X. I know that m is the change of y over the change of x. So pick a y. I'll pick this one. Negative 3, take away the other one. So remember, it's a negative 3, take away another negative. All right, which is negative 7 over the x, which is negative 1, take away the 1. So let me write this over again. Okay. So, what do I do? So, the negative 3 minus the minus 7, what is that? Huh? So, that's negative 3 opposite plus opposite. As you guys have done, keep chain chain, it's the opposite. Okay? Negative 1 minus 1. So, what's negative 3 plus 7? 
Well, I'm going to do my T chart and negative 3, and then the 7 goes on the positive side. Positive wins by 4, so my answer is 4. How about the negative 1, negative 1? In other words, you're adding a negative 1, so I'm going to do it again. Negative wins by 2. So here you go. So my 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2. So there's your M. Negative 2. So negative 2x plus b. There's your M. Okay. So now since I'm given two points, I'm just going to use 1 and plug it in just like what we did on the first one. Right? So I'm just going to use one of the points. Now it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to use this negative 1, negative 3. So my y is negative 3 equals negative 2 times negative 1 plus b. Negative 3 is equal to negative 2 times negative 1, which is positive 2, plus b. Now i got to rid get rid of the positive 2 by adding a negative 2 to both sides. So my b is, well, I'm going to do the t-chart. 3, 2, negative 3, negative 2. Negative has the win is the winner, and there's 5 of them, so negative 5. So I am done. I just got to plug it into the equation. y is equal to negative 2x minus 5. So there's your answer. There's your equation. Next one. Got it? You can stop and do anything you want and go back. So here's the next one. So I'm not going to do anything. I mean, I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to um, have you guys just follow along you guys got it all right everybody everybody let's do math come on everybody here we go ready hey 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 what okay Change of y, so I'm going to use 10, take away 8. Change, negative 1, take away 0. There you go. So 10 take away 8 is 2. Negative 1 take away 0 is negative 1. 2 divided by negative 1 is negative 2. So your m is negative 2. And then we're going to go ahead and plug it into the equation. Ready? Go. Yeah, I know you want to learn math. There you go. So now we're going to go ahead and plug in these numbers into the equation. I like 0, 8. So 8 is here equals negative 2 times e e ooh, ooh, x, which is 0, plus b. Right? What's negative 2 times 0? It's not negative 2. It's 0. So 0 plus b. Take away 0, take away 0 both sides, which you don't have to, because my answer is still b. So what's my equation? y is equal to negative 2x plus 8. And there's your answer. Yeah. The math animal. There you go. All right, so now you're going to do this one here. All right, so you want to find the equation for the given table or from given table. So what do we do first? Well, remember, this is your x, y, x, y, x, y, x, y. But what's what's happening? It's the, the x, the y is going by 2, correct? So this is 11, and this is going to be 13. And the top, it, you're adding 1 to each of them. You're adding 1. So in other words, your m is 2 over 1, which is 2, okay? So now what happens is that I have my y equals mx plus b. y equals mx plus b, which is y is equal to 2x plus b. And now I'm going to use um, my b. Do I have a starting point? Yeah, it's actually right here. Remember, when x is 0, this is your b plus 11. Or you could plug in the x and the y. So you could use any of it. 
and let's use 1 and 13 and we're going to definitely get 11 so let's use 13 as y 2 times 1 which is your x plus b 13 is equal to 2 plus b minus 2 both sides and your b is equal to 11 didn't we get that right there so there's your 11 so y is equal to 2x plus 11 so there's your answer for that one. I hope you guys got it. Yeah. All right. And then all these, all you're doing is plugging them in. So let me do a couple. All right. Here we go. Plugging them in. You do the T-chart. Negative 14. Yes. Solution. And then here, same thing. Plug it in. Hey, hey, hey. So plug them in, plug them in. And what do we get? See? Come on, let's get it. Let's get it right. Here we go. 24, all right, positive, plus a negative 20, which is 4, T-chart, negative 24, negative 20, come on, math, positive 4 equals 4, solution, all right, and that's basically it, that's it, so you can do the rest, um, it should be pretty easy, and we'll talk soon, good luck tomorrow on the test, adios, ow!